bones are, you know, high cheekbones and wide set eyes and big eyes and long necks are always essential. The thing is, it's a question of how you present the long neck and the wide eyes to the camera. What do you mean? It's the way you relate you, to the camera? You no, know, it's the way you make up, it's the way you do your hair. It, that's what changes, and that's fashion, and that's what I love, I must say. Uh, this face of the 80s uh, has, has just been fantastic for, for a scouting mechanism for us. Sure. You know, we never get less than six really top models a year from the contest. Isn't that wonderful? That is, so it's really an opportunity because the if these- The girl who's under contract to Chanel, for instance, didn't win, and uh, she's with us. Isn't that great? How about be being stick thin? Is that also essential these days? Or is no, because, did Cheryl no. Teague change that a bit? Well, I, I don't know if Cheryl changed it, but uh, the world changed it. I think health changed it. And uh, in, in that new book of mine, uh, which is called The Ford, Ford Models Crash Course and Looking Great, uh, which will be out in, in three weeks here, you see the girls, you know, in bathing suits and in, in, in exercise clothes. They're, they're sturdier today. They are. There's a little more of a they're voluptuous. A lot, a lot of muscle. Yeah. Well, that's true, too. Strength, I guess. Yes. What's your philosophy about uh, making a woman uh, appear beautiful or the beauty in a woman shining through? Your beauty can only shine through if you're healthy. Hmm. So it really is health then, huh? It certainly is. Is that it? Perfect. Diet and exercise are probably the keys to being beautiful. Yeah. Uh, let's go through these and explain now. Who are we seeing? I have to put glasses on. You put your glasses on, right? <laughs> Somebody asked me at a lecture once, why do you wear glasses? I said, because I'm 63. <laughs> You're 63? Oh, Lord. You look wonderful. Who is this? It looks like Christy to me. It is Christy. Okay. Perfect face? No, that's Nancy DeWear. Excuse me. Nancy DeWear has a perfect face. And how about this lady? Oh, this is your friend. That's my friend, Christina Ferrari, now Mrs. Thermopolis. Yes, Mrs. Tony Thermopolis. She married Tony. Tony's with ABC, right? Yep. You just told me that this morning. Perfect face? Perfect face. Why? Oh, look at her. Look at her skin. Look at her eyes, you know, her mouth, her neck. She is truly a, a, a gorgeous beauty. Hmm. Uh, not all models are perfect. For instance, Lauren, well, Clotilde, that's a girl who's always identified with the fashion uh, of Ralph L Lauren, and, or the fragrance of Ralph, Ralph Lauren, but uh, she's not doing it anymore. Is she a perfect face? Not really, no. No? Well, then what makes her no. good? She has, well, it's a terrible picture to look at it and say it, but she has tremendous eye contact with the public. You know, she has these big blue eyes that look right into your So you see her eyes of, and know, the imperfections yeah. are not seen, huh? That's Renee. Now, That's this Renee is Stevenson, beautiful... who won the face of the 80s two years ago, and she's the cutest girl I've ever met. In now, my life. you said cute. D does I mean, she have a, a perfect face? I don't know if she has a perfect face. She has such sparkle and vivacity inside of her, and it comes out in her eyes again. And, and in her whole way of being, you know, she's very bouncy. She's, well, she's 19 years old. Oh, and she is really a and cute girl. I agree with the word. She's cute to know. Uh, she's adorable to know. How about caring for oneself? Now, you've already pointed out that health is important. Skin care, makeup, that kind of thing. Your philosophy on those areas. How about skin care? Soap and water, or do you go for all of the expensive products? Uh, I don't think it matters what you go for, so long as you go for it. R really? You mean pick a regime and stay? Pick a regime, and, and if it works for you, stick with it. Uh, I will point out to you, though, that oily skin comes from your diet. Meaning if you want to have oil in your skin, you better eat it. Is that no, what you mean? If you no, don't want if you it, don't want oily skin, skin, you don't eat it. Well, okay, it goes both ways. <laughs> mostly, mostly, yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, problem skin is associated with oil. That's right. And nobody will admit that they have eaten incorrectly. Yeah, I, it's true. So you really are big on the diet. You're like, you are what you eat. I mean, that's you what are you're saying, what huh? You are what you eat. How about makeup? Do we wear too much makeup? Because we look at these well, pictures. I think there are two ways of looking at it. We either wear too much or too little. Because there's, you know, I know myriad people who say very proudly, I don't wear makeup. Well, okay, don't wear makeup, but don't think that you can't look better than you do. With makeup, With yeah. Makeup. Exercise. Do all of these women really, uh, I mean, you, is it a really fundamental have to part? You live in my house, you know, because there are five I'd love to that, seven <laughs> models living there. And every morning at 6.30, down they come and we all exercise together. Really? Yes. You know, that reminds me of a storyline. Was it One Life to Live? There was an ABC soap opera. I'm sure the viewers can help me on this, where the woman who ran an agency actually had the models living in her home. And I thought that was all just fiction. You're saying you really do that that way. Why? Is that to keep them 
Is that to help them out or to keep them on some kind of a, a regime? It's to help them out. Is it? Yeah. Financially? Financially. And uh, when they're young and coming for the summer, they come for three weeks at a time. And, and they have to live with me because I wouldn't let them live otherwise. Really? No. Why? Because they're too young to live alone. Isn't that terrific? So you give a leg up in a lot of ways, not only getting them work, but giving them support. Well, it's in the like beginning. living in a convent, though. Oh, well. The, uh -huh. the, the, the recipients of my largesse are not always enthusiastic about it. <laughs> After the first week, huh? Jerry Hall said it's the worst thing that ever happened to her. <laughs> yeah, but look at her success. Oh. We used to do yoga every single day, twice a day when she lived with me. Really? Oh, that is terrific.